it is taking him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think we're good. got to worry about uh, I don't got to worry about this too much it'll take I'll put the rails in here and then this will pick it up as it goes I think we're good I think it's good still got some charcoal coming in I may I am still tempted to uh Expand this section out a little bit for more saplings. Produce a little bit quicker, maybe. Or maybe not quicker, but at least more. Either way, do I have enough? I have six. Only needed four. So if I wanted to make a another four K, need the calculation thing. I'm a bobber. shame it doesn't automatically do it though it's a mild annoyance but still all right so we got a second 4k I need more quartz glass. Mm -hmm. There we go. Clearly, I need more regular glass, too. Store more shit. Definitely put that in there. The ducks, absolutely. stuff, I suppose. I think I want obsidian in there. I won't be hoarding like cobblestone and basic materials, but it's good to have. Seventeen of sixty-three. All this random stuff I definitely want in there. Some of it, not so much. I don't need... I don't need the saplings. I'll keep the rubber trees in there. It's going to take up a lot of the types, but... I 
just want it out of my house. Hmm, not these two. Well, not the arrows, but not the bow. Not that. Put the bucket in there, flint and steel. Handheld tools, I won't. Those will go in chests. <laughs> Stuff like this. I know there's better ways to utilize this stuff, but just for now. Maybe I should make a, a 1K. Probably should have made a 1K just for the uh, the stuff I just put in, but. I'm actually not 100% sure how to, uh, because I think you can, like, pre-format stuff. I've never messed with that. I just, uh, made, like, a bunch of 4K drives in my other world and just threw a bunch of stuff in there. Because that's how I roll. Also, my armor. I'm gonna need some more. Probably should just dump it all. something. There's a specific kind of block that does what I was thinking of. Sure. It's going to require a couple of drives for that one just to see what it does. I think I remember reading something about you can like put the items that are currently on a drive like either on the dr to the, to a drive or to a network. Something like that. I never got too deep into uh, applied energistics, so I don't know. I'm also wondering what the uh, ME interface does. Do have one of each of those. Need to make more more of this stuff. I need a lot more glass. So I'm gonna need to go 
get a lot of sand. That will requ maybe require a little expedition to a place that has a lot of sand. Like this place. And I could keep digging up my beach, but I don't want to ruin my beach. It's not that far by boat either. Maybe do an expedition in the morning? Let's do it right now. right next to my damn boat. Run for it. Wrong way. Yeah, I want to preserve my, uh, my beaches. Also an excuse for me to, uh, get away from my house for a bit. Enjoy the water. Another diamond pickaxe or start making my drills soon. Now that I got my quarry going, I guess that's going to be my next big goal is to uh, get that diamond drill. But that's going to require some industrial craft stuff, which is why I want to get that RF conversion going. I do need more cinder pearls. efficiency on this. It'd be tasty. There's some uh, crystal down there that I need. Oh god. Where? Mm-hmm. 
me that rod. Go ahead and do that. Don't want me getting set on fire in the desert. It's already hot enough. Don't need that bullshit. Once I have glass problems for a while, may as well spend all the live long doing this. Blaze powder is pretty good too. Don't see me complain. I guess you'll hear me complain rather than see me complain, but still. It's not argue semantics. Up this these three little rows here. That should be okay for now. Uh, pretty good. I think that'll do. So yeah, that was pretty good. Didn't take that long. Got some, uh... Got some, uh, bonus, uh, cinder pearls. For the effort. That's good. So I did need some, uh, pyrothium dust. It's already been two and a half hours. Time just flies whenever I play this game. Craziness. It's also nice having the music on this time. Instead of forgetting about it like I did last time. I do like that landmass right there. Looks quite nice. And of course my giant mountain range. I do like this world. It's 
quite good. Looks very good. Hey, look at that. Look at that spire. Isn't it inspiring? Let me go ahead and turn it to the side. In fact, let's just turn it this way. So I'm already facing the right way. Right. So, I guess I can put... I can get that steam dynamo out and then run power underneath. I need more flux duct, though. I also need to finish doing this. It's funny, like, first little bit of automation I made... And now it's just now it's just being ignored. Okay, so we got that. We turn on auto input. Do three in there, and the rest in there. Go ahead and make powder. So these can these can wait until I can get more stuff. Let's put them somewhere. That drill will also go into the uh, the top row of shame. Should make this too. Or not, like, make it. I should plant it. Can I put soul sand in here? Mm-hmm. Where should I grow it? I can grow it underneath. Somewhere in the corner. For the time being. I guess it doesn't have to be on the floor. But it's gonna. Let's do all eight. And we'll just start doing this. It's only temporary, but I want to start accumulating it. I can put dirt in there. Alright, I think... Yeah, one more 4K drive and I can just... Get rid of most of my storage. I'll keep, uh... I'll keep, like, handheld tools and weapons and stuff. And armor, of course, and in their own dedicated storage things. I don't tend to hoard that kind of stuff. And I still gotta... Still gotta do this stuff, too. Right, so... I wanna do the conversion stuff first. So I'm gonna need... an RF... Consumer. Uh, 
Regular stone, that's easy enough to make. Regular stone is not in there. It's right there. And I doubt there's enough space to store it, yeah. But that's okay. So we got the producer. But I need the consumer. And I need... Uh, energy bridge... Pearls. Oh, whoops. Around that important part. All right, so we got that. Fine. That'll uh we'll take care of that later. Right. So then I'm gonna need a uh will want low voltage. Am I eventually going to want one of each of these? Maybe. I want to make sure I'm not getting... not about to get ganked. I'm trying to... F wonder how, it, how this is going to set up. So the energy bridge I guess say the energy bridge was here. I'd have like a low voltage one here, medium here, high here, and then just feed the cables to their appropriate machines underneath. Basic machine casing. Low voltage transformer. Mm, but I think each of those are going to need to be uh, I think each of them are going to need to be attached to like their, their appropriate storage like energy storage thing. And I don't even know if that's like the efficient way to do it, but so yeah, we need refined iron. Mm, fireproof. No, it just it, it accepts any. That's okay. Yeah, let's make some refined iron. I need to make some regular iron too. Hmm. It'll take a while though. Currently glassing it up. Could maybe put it on hold. 
I don't need that much. Now we'll just wait. That's fine. We can wait. Oh, that spider was coming for me. It's coming at me. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, a few machine casings. Although, I won't do high voltage because I don't think I'm gonna need high voltage. Not for a while. And who knows, I'll probably die before I need it. So yeah, just need that, uh... Just need that refined iron. You coming at me? No. Okay. Don't want none of this spider. Can't handle. Can't deal. Well, while we're waiting for this, at the very least, I can see... That's right, steel. Need to get me that steel, and I don't think I made any. Mm -mm. So let's do half of our iron. I hate when it does that. And of course I can't reach it. You son bitch. There we go. Alright. I wonder why it does that. It is bizarre. But in any case. Oh wait, that's a Coke oven. I need I never made the blast furnace. My two different worlds are blending together. I never made the blast furnace. Be a Kua's. I need the magma. Pulverize the shit. And I don't think magma cream can be smelted. So yeah, don't have to worry about the input messing it up. Got my nether stuff in there too. So let's see. Blast. Furnace brick. Oh, the soul sand. I need more. All right, well. I'll let it work its magic. I have a little bit of pickaxe left. I have a good amount of shovel left. Go get the things. Hey, how's it going, Joe? Not Tom. Thanks. I'm glad you like the uh, the shader and texture pack. The texture pack is um, it's a uh, pure BD craft. I can go here. The base the the base is pure BD, BD craft. The uh, 64 resolution, and I also have the. Uh, I always forget how to pronounce this. Was fax 64 for ultimate reloaded and I got the extra stuff that changes uh, redstone some 3d blocks it's pretty good and as for the shaders they're just the um, good old-fashioned Seuss renewed I made a few tweaks just made it so that the bloom wasn't as intense. It can still be pretty intense, but... I lightened it a bit. Made some changes to torch brightness. Just to fit my style. My preferences. But yeah, it's quite good. I use this... Uh, 
the last time I played Minecraft regularly, which was years and years ago, I used this uh, texture pack, and I very, very much enjoyed it. But I couldn't remember the name. So when I wanted to find it again, I wasn't 100% sure I'd even be able to. But fortunately, I was able to. I was definitely happy. Happy. Apple. <laughs> I was happy for that. Uh, how far am I, roughly? I am... I mean, so I've played for a good amount of time, but I always play these mod packs very, very slowly. Probably uh, painfully slow to a lot of people. So, I've done... So I have a Steve Carts quarry just set up. I haven't really dabbled in industrial craft. I'm still like, I'm working on converting my RF into uh, industrial craft energy so I can start investing into those machines. Uh, let's see. Haven't even entered the uh, mining dimension yet. I want to wait until I can do the build craft. I haven't made drills. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'm currently working towards. So I'm, I'm still pretty early. Still pretty early in. But of course, that can all come crumbling down at any moment. Such is the dangers of hardcore. That's also another reason why I'm playing really, really slow. I've never really played Minecraft and Hardcore before. So I figured, hey, wouldn't it be fun if I do it now? Get really invested into a world with all kinds of mods and then just... Eventually, it just goes away. So that's the good times I'm about to have. But right now I'm getting soul sand so I can get a blast furnace. Because I need steel. I also need nether brick. So, where was that fortress? Is this the fortress? Maybe. I don't remember how to get there. That's the problem. Do not remember how I got there. <clears throat> on a server with a couple friends and you're early on. Cool, cool. Having a bit of trouble with AE. Can't find the controller to make it work. Oh. I just set up my uh, advanced energistic setup. Once I get back into my... Uh, to my world, I can show you the bits and pieces, and maybe you can figure out what uh, what you're missing. <clears throat> I did want I did want to find um. I wanted to find that that place I went to. Where the uh, the fortress was, I do not remember how I got there. Where's my bridge? I don't know if I'd even be able to see it. Is it this? Might be that. <clears throat> yeah, not brave enough to play hardcore. I was hesitant. But I kind of wanted to do something a little bit interesting because, you know, I've only ever streamed Minecraft like once or twice, and that was like years ago. But I kind of wanted to do something interesting. Something was, you know, <clears throat> with steaks. Not the delicious kind. 
the potentially devastating kind. Here we go. Here's the spot. So I'll do a quick, uh, quick little detour. I just want to pick up a few nether bricks from this fortress. Once I go back, take a look at my, uh, my AE. I hate those things. Was it this way? Yes. There's my little bridge. Yeah. No, it is there. There's my torch. Okay, so the fortress is just over here. I hate those things so much. They chase you so well. And they have range. Also... Dying of hunger. Mm. Now, if they weren't there. Terrified. Those things scare me. Especially because I don't have a ranged weapon right now. Just stay out of its sight. Here's the little staircase I made. Just want a few bricks. There's a walkway. Like right below me, but I don't want to dig down just yet. Yeah, I suppose you can just do the, uh... Smelt the netherrack. I do have a fair amount of it, but... Kind of lazy at the moment. And also, this way is a little more... A little more dangerous. So a death is a real, uh, real possibility. Only wanted a little bit. Oh yeah, we already got a stack of it. I guess another part of it is I just didn't want to bother with, uh... Melting into the bricks and then assembling the bricks because I'm a lazy bastard. Ow. Got him. Oh. Steady now. Ow, oh, those bats. I hate those bats more than I hate the little wisps. Hmm. You would drop a tear. Little jerk bat, get out of here. 
Grab that. I'm gonna need it. Gotta make those uh, mob imprisonment pokeballs. But yeah, it's time to head home. Need to get out of this place. Pardon me, pigman. Okay. Should be all good now. This is probably my one of my favorite tracks in this game. It can be quite intense. Sets the mood nicely for hardcore. Convention. Run. Jesus. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> so, uh. The timing on that message there, Joe. I thought for sure I'd be able to get through that door. And this is why I don't like the fire bats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. For those who would watch this on YouTube, Joe was just saying, uh, had to step away. See, you're not dead yet, so that's good. And then I immediately die. <laughs> that's alright. It had to happen eventually, and I... I knew, I knew it would either be me falling, because I tend to do that a lot, or it would be these damn bats. I'm pretty sure I said that at some point, it would, it would probably be either me falling or these bats. Well, that's okay. We can spectate the world. That's cool. I actually didn't know you could do that. Let's see what this is all about. No, my puppies. They're going to wonder why... Why their dad is not going to come home. So we can take a look at the world that I leave behind. But this is not going to be the end. Oh no. I still have a little bit of time. I'll get started on another world. I did really like this world, though. I mean, look at that mountain range. I never actually climbed it. But we got a little volcano there next to a village. Look at this. I was never. I never actually got went up here before. pretty cool looking however let's uh go down here can I go down faster no let's take a look at the everything else my first bit of automation which got ignored which was my uh tree fluid extractor I never got my item 
duct set up to uh, properly do it. My lovely boat, which I explored the world, where I went to the dungeon, found a village with a railcraft thing so I can get some uh, some of those supplies early. Oh yeah, this coastline is great. I love this little bit. I'll show you that in just a second. Of course, my humble farm I had this spot saved for like other crops, but you got my corn, my wheat, hemp, and of course, you gotta have sugarcane. My livestock, my very loud livestock. Never did get the leather from them. So here's my tree farm. Let me get it away from the bloom. My charcoal farm, rather. How much charcoal did we end up getting? 15 stacks. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Oh. Unfortunately, I only just got this up and running. So that's unfortunate. Found a little bit of stuff. Let's take a look. I never, um... I never went down here to see what it found. See if it found anything good. Some platinum. Oh, some diamond. Oh! You know, in my other world, I never found a mine shaft. That'd have been nice. Also, that's also unfortunate. <laughs> because, uh, now my poor cart is so confused, it has no idea what's going on. That's gonna be his life. It's gonna be his life forever. It is a bit haunting, isn't it? With no one around to correct its course. It's faded to a life of constantly going back and forth until it runs out of coal and dies off. There goes that diamond. Is that more? More diamonds? Some natural diamonds? I'd have been excited about that. Let's see if we can see anything cool. I wonder where the dungeon would have been. I'm definitely not going to take the time to look around for that, but I wonder where it was. I always, I like this spire. This is what I was talking about earlier. This little island right here, I thought was really cool. Especially from this angle, from over here. Thought it looked pretty neat. Nice little landmass. Minus the uh, the floating stuff. Let's go back to the house proper. As we say our final farewells to this world. Before we move on to the next. Because I still got some time. Before the new Path of Exile League. Takes all my attention away. So we got our our humble house. My little uh, coke oven. My pooches. My basic uh, IC2 stuff that I only used for a very short time. And 
yes. My ender tank. I braved the nether to set all this up. My magmatic dynamos. Energy cells. My pulverizers. Redstone furnace. Action. All that glass and refined iron that I'm no longer going to need. For now, anyway. So here was my... My advanced energistic setup. So basically, you go underneath. So it's taking power from the energy cells and it's putting it into the energy acceptor, which is right next to an energy cell. And so what I did was, there's an ME toggle bus, so I can turn on and off power using uh, the lever. And then using some ME glass tables to connect it to the uh, the drive, the network, with a uh, ME crafting terminal on top. And that's it. These are two uh, 4K drives, so it can hold a decent amount of stuff. I probably should have put in. I should probably should have put in a couple 1K drives as well, just for like. The stuff that's not going to be uh, super plentiful, but I want to hold a lot of. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, this is the AE setup. Quite basic. So I don't know what uh, did you happen to see? What part was missing? Do I know if channels are still a constraint? I don't actually know. I do know. I think like. I only just watched a video on it today because I never like dived deep into uh, into AE. But apparently, like each one of these cables does like eight channels. I guess that's how it used to work. And the ME controller, yeah, that's what I was. What if I do uh, applied? There's a matter condenser, but there's no, uh, there's no controller. Or, well, ME controller for chisel, but it doesn't seem like it's act actually a part of, uh, applied energistics. But as for how channels work in this, I'm not actually sure. I like how I'm a, just a head. But yeah, that was my world. My humble little world. And I'm pretty sure the seed that I entered for this was, um... I'm gonna die so hard. In all caps, all one word. So if you like the world, I guess you can give that a try. I think that's what it was. Potentially. And hey, it ended up being correct. I lasted longer than I thought I would, though. Yeah. But, like I say, it's not going to be the end. I'm going to go ahead... Well, first of all, before I leave the world... I am going to want a thumbnail for... Uh, the YouTube VOD of the world I'm leaving behind. So let's go ahead and just take one real quick. This looks like a pretty good view. There we go. And that'll be that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the, um, the local recording here, but I'm gonna start it right back up again. And I can spend about another hour at most getting started in a new world. But for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and split it up here. So, <clears throat> if you are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my death. Thanks to my own uh, impatience and stupidity. So yeah, it's been fun. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next world.